Hey guys, this is Elaine today with Graphic Authority Daydream Photography, and today I'm excited to show you for the first time a new product coming out from Graphic Authority that is going to be full of high resolution images from airplanes. Now, these are not your commercial airliners like Southwest or American, these are all uh, military grade uh, with super cool. Um, metal textures and writing and some of them are going to be detail shots, some of them are going to be texture shots and I'm going to be showing you over the next couple of videos different ways that you may can incorporate these type of images into your workflow and your artwork that you're creating with your images. So what we're looking at now is an example of one of the images and I like this one because it's got all of this neat uh, metal texture coming through it and this um, uh, the word fuse on it which is kind of random and I kind of like it being random and what we're going to do is we're going to put this image on top of this image this is just a normal image of a senior boy taken uh, in my studio on just a plain gray background and we're going to show how doing a couple of things can make this image really stand out so a couple things we're going to do is we're going to undock this image and we're going to drag it over to our image we always want our uh, what we're doing overlays or backgrounds to go to our image not our image to the overlays or backgrounds so I'm just gonna click and drag this guy over here and if I hold shift while I do it, it's gonna drop it in the middle and if I command T we're gonna be able to see where we need to resize it to I want this guy to be vertical so if I hold shift and turn it it's going to lock into positions and hold alt and shift pull from a corner is going to resize it for me. Slide it over just a little bit to where that arrow shows and hit OK. So now it's on top of our image. All I did was blink that on and off to show where we're at. And now it's going to be as simple as coming through and changing our blending modes. Now in other videos you've heard me say that I like to stay in the overlay, soft light, hard light area most of the time. So let's see what these guys look like. If I click overlay, looks pretty good. We can see now how it adds this cool texture onto what was just a plain gray background. Now it's starting to look like it was taken on that metal background. You can see where it comes over onto him and the texture on his face I don't really care for. Um, but we're going to show you a couple different ways to work around that. Let's just go ahead and see what uh, soft light and hard light look like though. I think soft light takes a little bit too much of it down and mutes it a little bit more than what I really wanted to. And if I go into hard light it pulls a little bit more of that out specifically on him and his clothes which I don't really care for a whole lot so let's go back to overlay and that looks pretty cool so what we're going to do from here is we're going to create a layer mask that's this square with a circle in it and if I paint black on it this is going to remove the texture off of anywhere I want to remove it to so I'm just going to use this soft brush and paint on him and it's going to start taking that off doesn't have to be super precise because of the use in blending modes it's not like it's going to be a hard hard edge and we can take this off it did take a little more off of the edge of this writing here than I probably wanted it to Probably the only place I'm going to be a little more specific on and I'm just going to paint it off of him be sure I'm taking it off of his skin don't really notice it a whole lot on his clothes but we're going to paint some off of it just in case it does show. Again, if this was something I was doing for print or for his album, I'd probably spend a little bit more time on it, but because I'm not, it works out alright. And now we're just going to blink that on and off to show the difference of the before and after. And with all I did was drop in a new overlay background from this airplane set. So, uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at Landon, L A N D O N, at daydreamphotography.net. I'd love to help you out any way I can. Have a great day. Bye.